The main purpose for the State of the Park report is really to get a good idea of how things are doing, how the different ecosystems are doing, and how they're changing over time. And that's, um, it's for the park, there are different stressors or impacts that are happening on the park, such as recreational uses or climate change, pollution. So there are different factors like that that can uh, affect the ecosystems. So our goal is really to capture that and then hopefully help with uh, future management or stewardship work for the park. I'm sure lots of people remember back in 2006 there was a, a big windstorm that affected the trees. So there were about 10,000 trees that had fallen uh, back then due to those windstorms. And it created blow down areas, quite major areas. And uh, in the next couple of years after that, there were um, lots of donations and, and sponsors that uh, gave money for planting and restoring those sites. So there were, I think it was 15,000 trees and shrubs that got planted. And so now, uh, over 10 years later, we're looking and looking um, using different uh, programs to look how the co total tree cover has recovered. And uh, uh, for, uh, in, so we have data for 2013 and 2018 to compare, and there had been a gain of 8% tree cover in the park. Freshwater ecosystems are in, considered in poor condition, and that's looking at uh, high uh, temp water temperatures in the summer, uh, dissolved oxygen, so in, like oxygen available for fish in the water. Uh, uh, got to really alarming level in the summer as well. Beaver Lake uh, is infilling at a rapid rate, mainly due to water lilies, the invasive water lily that was planted in there decades ago, but it's really spreading. And water lilies have huge stem when they decompose and they just add and add to the water of Beaver Lake. So now Beaver Lake is really shallow and it is just is way too hot in, in the summer for, for some fish and amphibians to even survive in there. It's also thinking of climate change and how sea level rises is expected to, to affect the salinity of Lost Lagoon. And so we follow a format that uh, Ports Canada uh, use for state of the park report for national uh, parks. So we follow a similar uh, format for that. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a long-term a long project and it's, it will just get more robust over time. So uh, the, the big thing for us, uh, so, so we're known for profit, so it's, it's, it's a big project for us to take on. And um, this, this time we uh, established a long-term monitoring uh, program to be able to assess the different ecosystems in the park. And uh, we, we plan to do this for many years to come and it's just going to get stronger and stronger as uh, we collect more data. Yeah, it's going to be on our website at stanleyparkecology.ca. We're releasing it on Wednesday because on Wednesday I'm going to be doing a presentation on it at 8 p.m. if people want to sign up. And uh, yeah, after that it's going to be on our website.